what's going on guys welcome to the channel season 2 episode 7 today I'm sorry <laughs> I've already done two episodes today going into my third one of the day so I'm relaxing a little bit shut up <laughs> okay I know you're gonna be like why is he coming out the video like this <laughs> I'm just playing I'm just playing listen season 2 episode 7 loving this series so far man so far season 2 fire 10 out of 10 seasons so far um you know we found out so much and learned so much especially about flint's character you know since the season started and you know i'm looking forward to i don't know if they're gonna go back into that storyline anymore or to show anything about it because i think they've kind of showed what they need to show you know what i'm saying about what happened and how you know they got basically banished from La from london so i don't think there's anything more they can touch on there but in any case i'm still you know looking forward to seeing maybe they'll go back because i was really enjoying what happened back in the day you know what i mean so we got eleanor trying to rescue abigail right you know behind vane's back um, I don't think she's gonna get out. I think she's gonna try to get out and Vane is gonna catch her getting out. That's what I think is gonna happen. Then we also have Ornigold challenging Flint for the for the, for the captaincy. Um, he's like six votes ahead as well we heard from Mr. Silver or five votes because the other dude went and got and killed the dude you know that was spilling secrets. I don't, I, I don't understand this. I don't wanna, what I don't understand is like what why you as a man would trust a whore why would you trust a whore you know what they do there you know why you weren't supposed to go there but you still went and you still gave her some information how good is that vagina please somebody explain to me how good that vagina could be to have me divulge in secrets bruh let me let me tell you something i know i know that before you get the, the the post nut clarity you know what i'm saying a lot of times not necessarily secrets but like if a woman it's the best time for a woman to ask you for something because you're more than likely to say yes and they know that you get what i'm saying like right after you bust the nut you know what i'm saying they want to be like so honey you know, I was thinking we should, you know, go over here or go over there. You know what I'm saying? But I'm, I'm old enough now. Like, back then, say yes in a heartbeat. But now? Heck no. My post nut clarity chips in as soon as I'm finished with the last bust. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it kicks in right away. She come with that and be like, yeah, you tried. <laughs> let's move on <laughs> anyways let's get to the episode man i'll see you guys for the review okay so another one in the books episode seven in the books i got one more in me for tonight for this recording session i'm trying to put out these four episodes on early access um we'll see how it goes anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in as always if you're back to watch the review man let's do it so we got flint we got the escape of course of you know abigail they got her out and eleanor had a tough choice to make she made the right choice in my opinion because <sighs> i don't understand man like I like Vane, but as I said, he's such an unpredictable person. And he's like, he's trying to sweet talk them. Because <laughs> he's like, you hoping that they will tear me to shreds, right? I was like, not really. But, you know, them getting her out. If you don't see the big picture of what's going on here. And the thing about it is this. What they showed about Flint's past. Solidify him as the main protagonist in this story. It solidifies him as the guy you should root for even though he's not necessarily unpredictable himself 
but it's more of like you understand why he's doing what he's doing a lot more there's context behind what he's been doing and you know with miss barlow you know what i'm saying um what's her name i'm trying to remember her name mir mir it's not meredith it's it's a m name i'm pretty sure it's a m name is her correct name i can't i can't remember her name anyway she's hamilton regardless <laughs> um so she's with him now she's gonna go with him to go deliver abigail so that should be good i wonder how they're going to be received though because you know the father did kind of warn them about it. it's like it's not the same you know what i'm saying you know those people don't hesitate hesitate to to execute the law you know what i'm saying so they don't have no problems with uh, they're gonna get arrested on site that's what i think is going to happen and he's probably going to ask to speak to peter and peter going to have the conversation with him and blah blah, blah and maybe in some great turn of events they happen to get peter back on their side but i don't know man i don't know you know it, it's tough it's tough because i i think peter doesn't know that captain flint is mr mcgraw himself i think he doesn't know that's why he talks so bad about about flint because he probably doesn't know that this Captain Flint is actually his friend from before. So he probably doesn't know. But we'll see how that turns out. And in any case, what's his name? Ornigold is leaving. But you know, you know, Dufresne, you know, trying to get him to, to understand. If, if we can capture Flint, we can turn him over to the English and they'll deal with him, right? But other, I mean, other than that, it's just like... Um, it's just crazy to me how this story is going and it's doing it's just going so well like i'm enjoying it it's a 10 out of 10 story man it's a 10 out of 10 story and i said i'm looking forward to it getting better because you guys said it's going to get better i'm enjoying it so much um i think it's the only tv series right now that i can just watch no it and westworld actually i can watch multiple episodes in a row and don't get bored i don't want to put it down you know what i'm saying because I was planning to do two episodes today and I'm on number three. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to do another one after this because I want to know who the hell just showed up at the end of the episode. Like, it could be the English. I don't know. Could be them. Who knows? So, we didn't see Jack at all in this episode. The situation that's going on with Anne is very understandable. Um, victims of abuse, they need therapy. Okay? And if they don't get that therapy... You know what I'm saying? This is the kind of behavior that happens. They, they can put on this front, make everybody feel like, you know, around them feel okay or themselves feel okay. But the underlying problem wasn't dealt with. And that's the reason why Anne is like the way she is. You know what I'm saying? Um, she needs a, a, a reason. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, then Jack just kind of discarded her. And now she feels like, you know, this... You know she's just been this type of person that her whole life pretty much where it's just like whenever people want they can just throw her to the side no matter what she thought jack would be different but jack you know what i'm saying but i like what max is doing for her and with her you know what i'm saying i like what she's doing for her she's being a, a friend you know what i'm saying because at this point as i said the only thing you as a person sometimes can do for somebody like this is just keep them close hugs show them love because they feel like they're alone and unloved so you gotta be there for them and make them feel loved you know what i'm saying make them feel like they're somebody you know what i'm saying um and defend them protect them you know what i'm saying and you may say that oh they're grown whatever listen man abuse is not a joke it's it's a serious thing in our in our society and just overall everywhere it's, it's a serious issue and victims of abuse like serious abuse not you know some of this petty stuff that they be talking about today that is traumatizing people i'm, I'm like listen man st stop it stop it okay We're talking about real abuse here <laughs> real abuse okay not you know people hurting your feelings or you know over you getting some 
getting sensitive over some something somebody said. <laughs> you know I'm saying like that ain't abuse, okay? That ain't abuse. That's just you. That's a you problem. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, man. Um, Mr. Silver, which is the highlight of the episode, finding out that because I was like that, because I was like it doesn't make any sense. Because I'm like, did they really take too long and the Orca Gold disappeared? But I guess in terms of how Flint responded to it, because he wanted to kind of get rid of that problem, because the problem is, can we do both? So, you know, them coming back provided him with a, 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 um, provided him with a, with a out to the situation or the, 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 um, the problem he was facing. Um, so, Mr. Silver, of course, has brought to our attention that he made them a deal he's like listen if you tell flint that the gold is not because he came back to tell him hey we can just go take it there's nobody near defending it let's just go get it you know what i'm saying um you don't need no men no nothing let's just go get the gold um but in turn you know what i'm saying they made the deal and now they can go reap it for themselves because now flint has kind of forgotten he's forgotten about it but i know he's if they if flint finds out that silver lied ooh, ooh, it's gonna be a reckoning this time around um hopefully he doesn't get caught because he's he did really become one of my favorite characters on the show no doubt about it and i like him but i don't like this because the thing about him is is, is this too like he's not necessarily a liar but he's he omits the truth a lot he omits the truth about things to get his way that's the kind of people that you call that you say they have a silver tongue like they can talk themselves out of anything and you know i have known to <laughs> to be a, a silver tongue kind of person you know what i'm saying like because i don't like throwing fists and fighting i don't like it so i've always just taught myself out of you know bad situations and i've been in a couple you know during my lifetime you know what i'm saying some little scuffles you know that was not necessary i was in my step to talk myself out of it you know what I'm saying? Without threats. You know what I'm saying? So, I just like to talk people into being reasonable. You know? And for them to understand enough and tire them out. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in, man. I think I addressed everything that happened in the episode. These reviews have been long. You know what I'm saying? That goes to show you that I'm really enjoying the show. And there's much to talk about after the show. There's much to talk about. Um, I'm glad that Eleanor and her dad has kind of reconciled in some ways. And I believe he needed that and I believe she needed it because the two of them has been in odds for all this time. And I think some of the times, you know, as her dad, even though, as I said before, I'm East, you know what I'm saying? He was a class, a asshole and a deadbeat dad. And for leaving his kid like that, you there's no excuse. Just say you're sorry, and you know, you know if she when she's ready to forgive you, she'll forgive you. And it seems like that has happened. So I'm happy for that. Um, fathers and daughters should all, you know, what I'm saying parents and, and children overall should have those kind of relationships. And talking to a person who had to overcome that also in my personal life, I can tell you that. You know, I had to forgive my dad to have a relationship with him because, you know, some people will say he did his job. You know, he provided food, clothes and shelter. What more do you need? Um, love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it was like he I don't I think the thing about it is that when it comes on to to people loving you, you want them to love you the way how you want to be loved right but sometimes the way how they're loving is just not it's just not conducive or it's an illusion of what that love should be you know what i'm saying and they think just because they're doing this that and the third that means that you should consider that them loving you when that's not how it works that's not how it works you get what i'm saying is is it's just like it's kind of like me um you know coming on here and doing reactions and i'm saying all the time how i love you guys and i appreciate you guys but i'm not showing you love in a way that you want to be loved like i do giveaways i do all of this 
all of this other stuff. There's other things that I do to show you guys that I love you and it's and this is not about you coming on the channel for views and money and all this other stuff. So it's like um when it comes on to that, like I had to really get to the place with my with my dad where I'm just like I think it was a conversation that happened with um my brother actually my brother because my me and my brother felt the same way about him and you know um it seems lately where it's just like we we, we we just we just said to ourselves like you know it, at this point like why still hold that grudge you know what i'm saying why still hold hold it out it's not like we talked it out with him or anything we just made a decision to just forgive him and just say hey you know what i'm saying what's the sense he's gonna die knowing that his sons don't approve of you know how he did things and, and and things like that like you know what i'm saying we just gotta show him love and help him to 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 understand that you know yes you you know you know when we really needed a dad we didn't have a dad you know what i'm saying and it doesn't make us soft or anything you know what i'm saying i think there's certain lessons that we could have learned earlier in life that we didn't that we didn't learn you know that could have made us better people earlier in life but we we can't really turn around and say okay it would have been so because we don't know you know what i'm saying so at the end of the day we just had to forgive and move on and just you know stop be held certain things against them you know and just have regular conversations with him and um you know uh, um another thing is that our, our dad is super old school so it's like there's also that really ingrained in him that you can't really get rid of. He has to make that decision to change that about himself. We can't change that about him. So what can we do? We're going to sit down and hold a grudge against him for the rest of our lives. We, ju we just had to come to that realization at some point, right? So appreciate you guys, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Looking forward to the next episode. Hope you guys are too. Leave a like, leave a comment. It's your boy Terry by Reacts. I'm out. Peace.